What's up, YouTube? The Endo Commentary. People always ask, why don't you play, Capital G? Why don't you play? All right, so I'm playing against someone named Jose Alflicano. Okay. He, let's see, he dualed for Breakthrough Skill, Rota, and Blackhorn. Um, if he, I'm not going to play in a Blackhorn, definitely. You see my rating is not very high. At 440, he's 378. He took first. Um, I like to go second a lot. He takes Breakthrough Skill. So, I might feed my Yamato to a breakthrough skill. That's a plus one for me. And I'm already one up on cards. Um, probably not going to see. He didn't shuffle. Okay, so he has Tanky. That's cool. <coughs> I mean, maybe he's playing Bujins. This might be a mirror match. <sighs> I swear, sometimes like I get PMs two seconds at I get on, and literally within one second somebody's PMing me. Like I, I really cannot get through games without getting like ten PMs. Summons bear. Set. Set. Okay, so he set two. Two Yamatos. Do not want. I think I am going to. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking about going into what's it called here. I think I'm going to go into. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I should go into Omega. If I should go into Starleash, trying to think here. I can't go into. I mean, I can go into Ragnar the Zero. He'll obviously have to use his um, what's it called? I'm trying to think of how many cards I can get around, or how to get around the most amount of cards. I know that I want to exceed because. I've got double Yamato. I need to get rid of this hair in my hands. Let's see. Either Omega or Starleash. Hmm. Let's go Omega. Alright, we're just going to attack. See if he has a Lance. He has Phoenix Chain. I'm going to detach. He breakthrough skills. Um, I think I'm actually fine with that. That's cool. Because he ended up burning two cards. Uh, yeah, that's fine. <coughs> He'll go plus one, but I'm still good. I still got my Yamato. Probably attack me for 16. And then I'll probably play Tinky and search Wolf Bark. Oh, unless he's playing Constellers, I guess. I guess maybe he'll go something completely different then. I better get some turtles in the graveyard then. Alright, so he gets Tinky. I imagine he's going to attack for. 17. Which he does. Okay, so he probably won't be getting a wolf bar. That's fine. He'll probably get, I think it's Kaos that's um, the Beast Warrior in the deck outside of Bear. Yep, there he is. I'm okay with that. As long as he doesn't have any more back row. Back row would be annoying. Alright, oh, there's that. I forgot he got an extra summon. <sighs> this could be a pain in the ass.
He goes for Pilates. Please let me draw Forbidden Chalice. Great, honest, oh, a card that I don't want. <laughs> This sucks. I'm going to be stunned to death. Yeah, he probably has this match. I'm going to have to probably side hard. That goes to my hands. I got a bunch of dead cards. I'll give him that. He's got it. Okay. So here's what we do. We side this in. That. 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 Side those out. We're siding those out because I'm going second. Um, D Prison, I like in this matchup. Book of Moon, I like. Bottomless is so so. I'm going to side that out. Um, I don't know if I want to keep these lances in. We're gonna side one of you out. And we're gonna bring in some black horns. <laughs> so yeah, I forgot about the the fact that he got an extra summon. If he didn't get an extra summon, he could have made any rank four, but no rank fours would have done anything. So. I'll let him take first. Double MST, I like he. Especially going second. He activates Rhoda. That's cool. Okay, mm -mm 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 -mm. he goes for Pollux. As long as he doesn't have like a tanky or something. Because if he makes Pilates and then plays Tanky, he can like bounce it. I hate that. Okay, so he goes Pollux. And then Sombre. Looks like he's going for a rank 4. He might go just like 101 or something. Okay, so he goes for Omega. That's fine. I'm really not that concerned with that card. I've got MST, so I'm not really concerned. I'm going to set my Book of Moon and my MST, and I'm going to pass it back to him. I'm in no rush to use Honest. He plays Ice Hand, which I'm going to Book of Moon. KK, I'm going to MST Lance. Ice Hand Attack will go. So, <laughs> that worked out for me. I got a two for two exchange there. I'll take that every day of the week. I think if I was him, I would have just I'd have just left the ice hand face down. And it's still his turn. Uh okay, so this was fourteen, so it's six hundred, he takes thirteen hundred. Okay, Jose, where did you go? Okay, there he is. Jose takes thirteen hundred. I mean, if he doesn't honest me, I'm going to honest him. And if he does honest me, then I'll just, what's it called? I'll just wait and then honest him with Rumi. Okay, so I'll honest you, buddy.
Now, obviously, a Timkey would be like the perfect out. That'd be like the perfect draw here. Passes to me. To mind control. I was looking for something a little better than that, but whatever. I'll just attack directly. Quick look at my graveyard, MSTs, and books. And. Okay, so he soul charges. I'm fine with that. I mean, you're going to put yourself in 900 life points. That's cool. Unless he just goes for one. Okay, so he goes for two. 900 life points. I really hope he makes Black Ship of Corn so I can mind control it and activate its effect. <laughs> that would be so sick. That would be that would be so sick. Please Black Hornet. Please uh, please Black Ship of Corn me. Yeah, that's fine. You can summer all you want. Please Black Ship of Corn me, so I can Black Ship of Corn you right back and win. Now he does get an extra summon from Pollock, so you know who knows what he's gonna do. Oh, okay. I guess he's not going to use it. I mean, that's fine. If he doesn't put another monster on board, I'll just mind control it, then summon Harumi and attack directly. I already know one of the cards in his hands. Lance was pretty much like the perfect out or the perfect draw there. Okay, so my control works in that situation. I think, let's see. I think I might take out the horns for. Bring in this, take out a soul charge. I wish I had more spot on removal. I really do. I'm trying to think. I guess I'll just take out the soul charge. I sort of want to keep the horns in. I'll take out Quillen. For DD Crow, no, that's not good. Valor, I don't think so. We'll go Photon Thrasher. <clears throat> Three Thrasher so that I can make some turn two plays because I know I'll be going second. Warning Blackhorn Lance, man, this is like a super passive hand. Like a really good hand going first. He duality, sweet. So at least I get to see a turn of no, um, of none of that shenanigany. Uh, what's that card? The guy that he makes, uh, Pilates. He takes breakthrough skill. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna lance that or not. I might just keep my lance, depending on if I have to use it to get my summon off. He might be like bottomless or torrential. He might even use warning on me, who knows? Okay, he sets one. Three. Alright, he goes car card D, so he has an open field. My warning looks good right now. See if I can get my Tinky off. Alright, Tinky Yamato. Ask him for a response.
All right, now since he has breakthrough skill, I might as well go ahead and attack because I'm going to have to use my lance anyway. All right, set, set. Okay. Now the unfortunate thing is it was a fiendish chain, so that kind of sucks. But I've got warning and black horn, so I think I'm going to take Mikazuki and get rid of this hair. Just pass it back to him. See what happens. <laughs> He plays his own Tanky, so I guess we're just going to have Tanky Wars or something like that. Okay, he's going to go for Bear. Okay, I don't know why the Tanky got sent to the graveyard. Tanky should still be on this field. Let's see if he has anything. Hmm. I'm trying to think. One of those cards is Breakthrough Sky. I just wonder if he has a Lance or not. Alright, I guess we'll just have to test the waters. So we're going to attack with Mikazuki and see what happens. Alright, we got our attack through. Um, it's MSC the Phoenix Chain. Attack with Yamato. I mean, it's going to get breakthrough skilled anyway. I might as well get the damage in. Okay. That's cool because I already knew you were going to do that. Come on, no dark hole. Having Solemn Warning is going to help a lot in this match. All I really need to do is just resolve Mikazuki one time, and I should pretty much be in a position where it's game. Um. Okay. Does he have wiretap? If he does, I'll be salty as fuck, but that's Yu-Gi-Oh, I guess. Oh, he doesn't have wiretap, he scoops. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll do more of my DM commentaries uh, throughout this format. I can't promise you guys I'm always going to be running Bujins. Uh, truth be told, I think I'm going to switch to Fire Kings. I feel like Fire Kings is pretty legit right now. Go ahead and click the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you would, consider checking out my Kickstarter, donating a dollar or two. Every little bit helps. Thank you guys for watching, as always.